Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you how to make this little bracelet that I am calling Quilted Crystals. Now, the reason I call it that is simply because it looks like a design that you might see on a quilt. If you look at it close, it's kind of cool. Now, this is made with the new Round Duo beads. Now, this part here is raised a little bit. A Round Duo has two holes instead of one just like a Super Duo, except for it's round instead of rice shaped. Now, the Potomac Bead Company are the ones that have them in supply right now. And I will put a link to the website on this video so that you can find these if you would like. I believe they are the only place that has them available. Um, these are what they look like right here. They just look like little round beads. They're five millimeter round and they have two holes in them. Um, Nathan from the Potomac Bead Company um, has approached several different designers and YouTubers and asked them to um, try out the beads and he sent some to the people that were willing and of course I was one of them um, that was willing because I am a bead addict self-proclaimed and I never say no to new beads and anyway I love these. These are a lot of fun. I had a good time with them and I appreciate it very much. Nathan, thank you for the, the beads. I appreciate it. And I'm going to show you the other colors that they sent me. Now, the ones that I did here in this be in this bracelet are called Magic Crystal Magic Blue. Is what these are and the number is 46007. And um the color I'm going to use today is a Capri Gold, and it looks like this. And it's half gold and half clear. And it's really pretty, I really like that. And its number is 46004. The other colors that they sent me, and there's a lot of different colors. I didn't pick any in particular. He asked me if I want a particular color, and I said I didn't care. So they just sent me some, and I think they're all really pretty. I really love this frosted one. It's gorgeous. I love the gold mat and the red mat and the silver. It's all really, really pretty. They're all gorgeous. So anyway, that's what's up with the round duels. And like I said, I will post a link so that you can find them um, if you are interested in making this design today. Okay, so... Let's go through what we're going to need to make this project. For this project, now keep in mind, I have made um, a little bit over a seven inch bracelet. If you're making a smaller bracelet or a larger bracelet, your um, bead numbers are going to vary um, depending upon the length. Now, a seven inch, a seven inch bracelet is about average. So that's what I'm going to do today. And I'm going to tell you the amount for the seven inch bracelet. Now, you will need, of course, the round dual beads. And for a 7-inch bracelet, I used 46 of them. So, you'll need 46. And that's there's more than enough in one tube for that. There's twice that many. Or not quite twice that many. But um, I used about a half, maybe a little more than half of a tube for this one here. A um, little you can see how much I have left here after making um, this one. So you need 46 of them. And then you're going to need two bicone crystals or two colors of bicone crystal. Both are four millimeter. And both of these are Swarovski crystals. I'm going to call this turquoise my color A and I'm going to call the clear my color B. And your color A, you will need 71 for a 7-inch bracelet. And your color B, you will need 52, 4 millimeter bicone crystals. And then you will need a 3 millimeter bead. Now, in my original design, I used a 3 millimeter clear bicone, Swarovski. In this one, I'm going to use a little fire polish bead. You will need 28 of them. This is a 3 millimeter fire polish bead, and it is the Capri Gold. Uh, the same as this. So I wanted to try that today instead of um, using a bicone crystal. But you can use a bicone crystal and you will need 28 of them. And they need to be 3 millimeters. Then you'll need an 11 of seed bead. I'm using a Clear AB Toho 11 of seed bead. The Potomac Bead Company also sent me some cup beads to try. 
and um, I'm going to go ahead and clasp it with a little cup bead today. You sent me a turquoise one that's really close to the color of my crystal, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. So you'll need something for your clasp. A cup bead will, will work great. Or you can use just a regular button and put it on the same way that I'm going to use the cup button, if you would like. Now, um, you will also need 8 pound fire line, and you will need about two wingspans of 8 pound fire line, and then um, a size 10 beading needle. And let's go ahead and get started with this project. Okay. Thread two wingspans of fire line onto your beading needle, and then we will begin by picking up four of our round duo beads. So I'm just going to pick up four onto my needle. It doesn't matter what hole, they're like super duos. Basically you can just pick up either, in this design anyway. So you pick up four of them, bring them down to the end. Okay, so bring all four of them down to the end of your thread. You don't need to leave a long tail, just enough to tie a knot. And go ahead and tie an overhead knot, making sure that your thread goes down between the beads, not on top of them, over them, all that good stuff. And tie it twice. Like that. And this is what you should have. Let's get a little closer. And you can see that all my thread is in the bottom hole here. So I'm going to sew what I'm calling towards the inside here. There's a hole out here now and the, the thread is in the hole on the inside here. I'm going to sew around all of the beads again in the hole that we're in. So in the inside hole. And just reinforce my base really well. Once I get to the one that my uh, knot is in between, I'm going to go ahead and go one more over to get past it. Like this. And this is where we will begin our design. So what we need to do now that we've joined these all together and we're coming out of this little bottom hole right here, we're going to hop up into this top hole of the bead that we're exiting. Just go right into the top hole. And then we're going to pick up bicone crystals. And we're going to pick up a color A, a color B, and a color A. Like this. We're coming out of this side of the top hole in this rondo. We're going to go into the other side of the same hole and pull our beads around like this. And then now we need to get over to this round duo to, to do the same thing. Our, our thread is coming out here. We don't want a big thread bridge over here out in the open. So we're going to pick up a three millimeter round, either bicone or fire polish bead. And we are going to go from this top hole into this top hole here. And pull. And that will just pop that little guy down in there, just like that. And then we are going to pick up a color A, a color B, and a color A of our four millimeter bicone crystals. This, we're coming out of this side, we're going to go into this side of our round jewel in the top hole. Just like that. And we're going to turn, and we're going to pick up a three millimeter bead. And we are going to go from this crystal here, or this brown duel here actually, into the top hole of the next round duel. Like this. And pull. Turn our work. And again, pick up an A, a B, and an A in your crystals. That. We're coming out of this side, we're going to go into the opposite side of the hole in the round duo. Round duo. Okay, now we need to get over to our next one. So again, we pick up our three millimeter bead 
and we go from the top hole in this round round duo into the top hole in this round duo. And then again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to pick up an A, a B, and an A in our crystals. Oops, I missed my B. Hit B. Like this. And we're going to go, we're coming up this side, we're going to go into the opposite side and pull. And now we need to get back to um, the first unit we started in, the first hole here. So we're going to pick up a three millimeter bead right here. We're going to go from the top hole in this one into the top hole in this one and exit this. And then we need to work, we're going to work our connection between these two beads here. So we need to get over so we can exit through this crystal right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through this three millimeter. We're coming out of this crystal here. We're going to go through this three millimeter bead here and pull our thread through. Um, got my tail. And then we're going to come up through this crystal here. I'm going to turn this towards you so you can see it better. It's like this. So now I've finished my last little unit and came uh, through the little three millimeter and exited this crystal here. Came through it and exited. Now we're going to pick up an 11 0 seed bead, a round duo, and an 11 0 seed bead. And then we are going to, we're coming out of this crystal here, we're going to go into the opposite crystal right here pull through. Now we need to work back up to our connection so we are going to go through this three millimeter crystal right here. Right here. And then through this crystal here. Just like that. back up into the 11 and the round duo, but we're not going to go through the 11 on the other side. Now pull your thread and make sure everything's nice and tight, you don't want any slack there. And then pop up into the top hole of your round duo, just like that. Now we need to make um, the beginning of our next unit here so that it'll all be connected. You don't need to make a un uh, component and then connect them later. We're going to connect them. So we're going to start this part of our next component. So what we're going to do is we're going to need to pick up an 11 0 a color A crystal, a three millimeter round fire polish, a color A crystal, and an 11 0 So this is what you will have on your needle. 11 0 crystal, 3 millimeter, 4 millimeter crystal after that, and then an 11 0, just like this. And then you're coming out of this side of your round duo, you're going to go into the opposite side and pull. Now we need to get up into this little 3 millimeter bead to start our next unit. So we're going to sew up into this 11 0 and this 4 millimeter bicone crystal right here. Now this is going to seem a little odd the way I'm going to do this, but I have to be able to get my circle of beads to work in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this little 3 millimeter, go through it, then I'm going to pick up a round duo like this, and I'm going to drop it down. And I'm going to arrange this round duo so that the thread is come is in the hole towards the outside. So I'm going to turn it so that the hole is facing towards the outside. This will be considered the inside because we'll be putting our other beads here. So I'm going to have the thread that I'm just put through on the outside. Then I'm going to come through this inside one right here like this. And I'm going to pull tight and make sure that that stays down tight against 
my bead right here. Just as tight as you can get it anyway. And then you're going to pick up three more of your round duos. You're coming out of this side of the round duo, come into the opposite side, and pull tight. Now you have your circle. However, it's all loose and wobbly, so we need to sew through it to secure it. So th through all of them in the same hole that you're already in with your thread. So go into the inside hole on all four of them as you sew around. Like that. When you get to the bead that you started in, the one right next to the little three millimeter bead here, you're coming out, you'll be coming out this way. You're going to hop up into the top hole. Like this. And now you can see that I have my thread coming out of this little rondeau here and I have one of my crystals for my top units here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up my color A and my color B in my crystals and I'm going to come back through this crystal here. So I'm just going to turn this so that my hand can actually get to it and I'm going to come into this crystal that we did on our connection and then through the round duo again. So I'll turn this so you can see it just like this and then pull now we have our first corner of our little square now we are going to pick up we're coming out of the top hole here we need to pick up our three millimeter and go into the next uh, round duo in the top hole just like this Now, we're ready to add our next corner. So we're going to pick up our color A, color B, color A. We're coming out of this side of the crystal. We're going to go into the opposite side of the, or not the crystal, the round duo. Round duo. And we're going to pull these like this. And then we need to get from this crystal to this crystal. So we're going to pick up another one of our three millimeter rounds. And we are going to go into from the top hole here into the top hole of the next and we are going to pick up a color A, a color B, and a color A. We're coming up this side, we're going to go into this side like this. And now we have three corners. Now on our first corner and our last corner it's a little different than just um, putting your beads on. You have to incorporate the beads from your connection. So now we need to pick up a three millimeter so we can go from this bead to this bead and then I will show you. Now you're coming out of this bead toward your crystal. So you're going to go up into this crystal first and then add the two outside crystals. Just ignore this little loose three millimeter bead. We will tighten it up after we do this unit. So now we're going to, since we're coming out here and this bead is available, we're going to come up through it because it is the bead in our corner, in our second component here. So we've picked it up. Now we just need the clear bead and the other blue bead. So I'm going to pick up the clear crystal and the blue crystal and I'm going to come into the round duel on this side here and exit and pull. Now I have my corner and now I have this little loose three millimeter here but I'm right next to it so I'm just going to sew right into that three millimeter bead and that's going to connect it. And then we need to sew all the way down to this area down here so that we can make our next one. So we're just going to stay in this little area right here, the top holes, the three millimeter um, fire polish beads and the top holes of your round duos. So I'm coming out of this three millimeter. Now 
I am going to go into the top hole of the round duo and then I can exit. It's hard to pick more than one up at a time because of the angle that they're lying in. So just pick up one at a time. Coming out of the round duo, now I'm going to go into the three millimeter bead and pull. And then I'm going to go into this one. And I can go ahead at this angle and get through the three millimeter bead too. And then I'm going to come up into this crystal right here. Because just as we did here, we're going to build our connection here between these two beads. So over the top of this little three millimeter. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pick up an 11-0, a round duo, and an 11-0, like this. Let me back off. And then we're coming out of the top of this crystal here. We're going to go into the top of this crystal here and pull our beads down. Now we have to come through this three millimeter bead here and this crystal. So I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to sew up through this little three millimeter bead. Turn it back around. And then I'm going to sew up through this crystal. Right here. And then into the 11-0 and the round duo, but not the 11-0 on the other side, just like this. Now, pull it tight, get it arranged pretty, and then pop up into the top hole. You're coming out of the bottom hole here. Go into the top hole of the round duo, just like this. Make sure that you don't have any slack in your thread, like that. And then we're going to make this portion of our next unit. So we are going to pick up an 11 0 seed bead and then a crystal, a color A crystal, a 3 millimeter bead, a color A crystal, and an 11 0. So you will have this on your needle here. We're coming out this side of the round duo. We're going to go into the opposite side, pull like that. Now we're going to sew up into this 11-0 and this crystal and we're going to begin making our unit. So we have to come through the little um, fire polish bead, the three millimeter bead, and this is where we will pick up our round duo like this drop it down, arrange it so that your thread is on the outside of the bead and I'm considering the outside of the bracelet towards the corners here. So outside will be towards um, the corners of the necklace and th or the bracelet and this will be the inside. So I'm going to now hop into the other hole of the round duo like this. And I'm going to pull it tight up against the little three millimeter bead. And then I'm going to pick up three of my round duos and come into the opposite side where I'm exiting on the bead I just added. And pull. And now I will sew through the bottom of all of these beads, the bottom hole and secure them so that I have my base to work my corners out of for my component here. Now when you get to the bead that you started in, go ahead and go in the bottom hole and then hop up into the top hole. And then you are going to use this crystal as part of your corner unit. So what you're going to do is you're going to add 
the other um, blue crystal and the clear crystal. So you're going to pick up a blue crystal and a clear crystal and then you're going to come down into the crystal that's already on your piece here. Just like this. And pull your needle through. And then come through the top hole again. Just ignore the little three millimeter bead there. It's just going to lay there funny until we come around to the very end and tighten it. So like this. Then of course we need to skip over. We're going to pick up our three millimeter bead. We're going to go from the top hole to top hole in the round duos. And then we're going to make our next corner. So we need to pick up an A, a B, and an A color crystal. And we're going to exit here. This is where we're exiting. We're going to enter here on the opposite side. Then we are going to pick up another three millimeter bead. We're going to go from top hole of this round duo to top hole of this round duo. And pull. Then we will pick up a color A, a color B, and a color A, and make our corner. And here again, we will pick up a three millimeter bead and work up to the top hole of the next round duo. Now remember, when you get to the corners where your attachment is, it's a little bit different. So we are going to, we're coming out of this little bead right here, right next to our um, corner bead that we're going to use that's already on our connection. So we're going to go through that bead first. Then we're going to pick up, oops, sorry about that. Then we're going to pick up a clear crystal and a turquoise. So a B and an A. And then we are going to go into the round duo again on the opposite hole or opposite side of the same hole. And then we're coming out right here. So we need to sew into this little three millimeter to tighten it up. So grab a hold of it. And now we have a complete unit and we need to work down here. So we are going to stay, remember, in the three millimeter beads and the top holes of the round duos and we are going to sew down until we get to the bottom where we can exit one of our crystals. So we're going to sew through this three millimeter and this round duo and then we're going to come through this three millimeter bead here and then up through our crystal and we will begin the next connection. And you will do this until you have seven units if you want a seven inch bracelet. And of course, if you want a six inch bracelet, do it till you have six. If you want a five inch bracelet, do it till you have five. If you want an eight inch bracelet, do this one more time, then we are going to do it eight times and you'll have an eight inch bracelet. Go ahead and do that until you have as many units as you need for the length of the bracelet you desire and we'll be back. So I have went ahead and made my seven units here and um, I'm going to go ahead and add my loop for my clasp on this side and then we'll work in a, a row of embellishments. But first I just want to get rid of my tail. I don't need it and it's in my way so I'm just going to cut it a little ways away from the beads and melt it down and tuck it in. That was a little long. You're going to be able to see that. I'll have to fix that. But anyway, I'm just, I've gotten rid of it. So that's the most important part right now. Now I am going to make my connection for my loop for my clasping here. So I'm coming out of, after I made my last unit, I sewed it around and I came out of the crystal just like I would if I was going to make another unit. And now I'm going to pick up an 11 0 seed bead, a round duo, and an 11 0 seed bead just like we would normally if we were going to make our next unit. Then I am going to sew from this bead to this bead. Oops. 
and put my little rondeau on top here. And then I'm going to go through the three millimeter bead. I need to sew back up this entire little portion so we can get back up to a round duo. And so I'm going to go up through this crystal. Then I'm going to go through this 11 0 and the first hole of the round duo. But I'm going to avoid the 11 0 on the other side and pull. And now I'm going to come up, make sure that everything's tight, looks good, come up into the top hole. And then you're just going to pick up a series of um, little seed beads like this so that we can come around and make our loop. So I'm going to pick up 23 little 11 O's to go around my little um, cut bead. Now, whatever you're using, a button, a cut bead, or whatever, go ahead and pick up the appropriate amount to go around your bead. You'll pick up your as many as you think, then you can slide through the other side of this top hole and test it and while holding onto your thread and see if it fits. Because I can tell you 23 beads, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be right for what you're doing. So pick up as many as you need and then um, drop them down and come back through the top hole on the opposite side. So I have my 23 back. little seed beads. I'm going to go, I'm coming out of this side of the round duo and I'm going to go into this side. Now we're going to sew back up around all of these beads and then through the round duo back up around all of these beads again and do that three times and then we'll be back. Okay so I have sewn through three times to secure my beads on my clasp here and now I'm coming out of the top hole here after doing my last round of securing my little loop of beads. Now I need to come down into the bottom hole of my round duo here. Now we need to get over to this bead here to exit and go through this bead to do our next um, embellishment. So what we need to do, actually we need to get down into this bead here. So what we need to do is we need to sew around until we can get to the bead we want to be at. So we're going to sew down this 11 0 seed bead here. So then we will go into this one. Now see we could um, come directly over here and then come out here and start but then you'll have a thread sticking out. You don't really want to do that. This is basically like a right angle weave and you don't want your thread sticking out. So you have to turn the corner here. Then we're going to go through this little three millimeter bead here. Then we are going to go through this bead here, up through the corner bead, down through the crystal here on the corner, through the three millimeter bead, and up through the first crystal on the next corner. Now we are in position to start our next embellishment. So what we will do is we will pick up an 11 0 and our color A crystal like this and an 11 0 like that. Now we're coming out of this crystal we're going to go into the top of this crystal right here and pull and then we're going to go into the three millimeter bead right in between so we can work our way back over here. Go into this one and then down into this crystal here. And this is where we will start our next embellishment. We will pick up an 11-0, a round duo, and an 11 0. 
we're coming out of this crystal here we are going to go into this crystal here and pull and that just lays that little round duo right there and then we are going to go around the top here so we're going to pick up an 11L and our color B crystal and we're going to come back around and through the top hole of the round duo here. And I have to turn my piece, sorry, through this hole right here. And then I'm going to pick up a crystal and an 11 -0 and I'm going to come down into this crystal right here. So the corner crystal, the most corner of the, uh, the most corner crystal, how's that sound? The one that sticks out on the corner. That's the one that we're working in. And then we just simply have to sew back over so we can get to our next component here. So we're going to sew, we're coming out of this crystal right here. We're going to sew into this 11-0, the round duo, and this 11 out and this crystal. So let's just go ahead and sew through here. Sew through the round duo. Sew through the 11 out. Sew up through the crystal here. And then we are ready to start our next one. So what we need to do is we need to get to this side so we can sew around. So we are going to come down into the crystal here. Into the three millimeter and up through the crystal. Right there. Then we are going to pick up an 11 -0, an A colored crystal and an 11 -0. You're coming out of this side. We're going to go into this side here. And pull our crystal around. Tighten it up. Make sure that the tension is good. Sew through this three millimeter bead here. Sew up through this crystal here. Sew down through the B colored crystal here on the corner. So we're coming out of this crystal here. We're going to add an 11 a round duo, an 11 and then we're going to go into the bottom of the crystal next to it, right here, and pull. Now we've got a round duo laying here and we need to utilize the top hole. So we're going to pick up an 11 and a crystal and then we are going to come through the top hole of the round duo and pull. Make sure it's nice and tight. Then pick up a crystal and an 11 0 and come down into the top of the crystal on the corner of the previous unit here. and pull. Pull it tight. Then we need to move back over to here. So we're going to sew through the 11 0 We're exiting the crystal. We'll sew through the 11 0 and the bottom hole of the round duo. The 11 0 and I'm going to get in there and the crystal. And now we will start our next embellishment. We'll do one more and then I'll let you finish to the end, just going from unit to unit making these embellishments. Now we've just finished this one, so we're going to come down into our um, turquoise beads. And now remember, you have to sew through all three of these beads in order to circle around it. So th sew through these three beads on top of this unit here. Pick up an 11 0 
a 4 millimeter bicone in your color A and an 11 L. Go from the top of this bead to the top of this bead and then sew it back through all three of them. Just like that. And then sew down into the crystal here. You're exiting this crystal, sew into this crystal. Pick up um, an 11 L, a round duo, and an 11 L like this. You're coming out of this crystal, you're going to come into this crystal here. And then you're going to pick up an 11 L and a crystal, and then you're going to circle around and come through the top hole in your round duo. Here, just like this. And then you will pick up a crystal and an 11 O, like this, and you will come from this hole into this crystal here. Arrange it. Now you need to get back over to here, so we have to sew through the beads we just added. So we'll sew through this 11 O and the round duo and the 11 on the other side, if you can get all three, like this. Pull through. Sew up into the crystal here on the corner. Sew down into the next three crystals on the next unit here. And then you will add your, embell your embellishment over the top of this one with your 11 -0 and your color A crystal and your 11 O go around and then do the next one here and do that till you get to the end of your bracelet and we'll be back. Okay, so I've finished this entire side of embellishments here and now I'm coming out of this end here after I put this embellishment on and then sewed back around I'm coming out of this crystal here so I'm going to sew up into this crystal here and then I'm going to sew down into this crystal and I'll work my way to the other side so I can sew in a circle again and add my attachment for my cup bead here just like that so I've come out of this crystal down into this crystal through the three millimeter bead up and out this crystal. Now I'm going to pick up an 11 O seed bead and another round duo and an 11 O seed bead and I'm coming out of this crystal I'm going to go into this crystal and sew into the three millimeter bead here and up through this crystal And then I'm going to go into the 11 O and the round duo in the same hole we've been working in and avoid the 11 O on the other side. Now I suggest that um, you go ahead and do that a couple of times just to secure this nicely because this is going to be the end your clasp is on. Of course we want to secure that. But for now, I'm just going to hop up. After you do that a couple times, then you'll hop up into the top bead here. Make sure everything is nice and neat and arranged here. Pull it tight and arrange it. And then you will pick up a crystal. Now you can either use your clear or you can use your... Um, uh, other color, it, you can use your A or B, it doesn't matter. And then pick up your cup bead. So I've got a crystal and a cup bead here. And I will drop them down like this. And then I will pick up an 11 O and 
Actually, I'm going to change this because I want the clear to be on top of my cut bead or I won't be able to see it here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up um, my, um, be my A color bead, my turquoise, and I'm going to put it down here like this. So come through your turquoise bead and your cut bead, and then pick up an 11-0, and then I'm going to use my other color bead, and 11-0, I'm just switching my color scheming here, and then I'm going to go through the other hole in the cut bead here, well, just not cooperating. That's really not hard to do either. Hmm. Okay. Pull that through. Like that. You can see my little crystal underneath. I'm going to pull this, make sure it's nice and tight. Then I'm going to pick up another crystal. And then I'm going to go through the top hole in the round duo. And now we're going to sew back up around through all these beads three times. Exit through your round duel and we'll be okay, back. Okay, so I have sewed around and secured my little cut bead with my little crystal on top um, three times. Make sure it's nice and secure. And I'm coming out of the top hole right here. Now I need to get down into the bottom hole and then I have to sew. Then I'll be going this direction. And I already have done my embellishments on this side, so I'll have to sew around and get over to this side. So this is how we're going to do this. We're going to go down into the bottom of the round duel. And just like we did on the other side, we're going to sew through this 11 0 here. Get a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. Then we're going to go into the crystal here. the three millimeter bead here up into this crystal right here and then up into this crystal here on the corner so just follow your beads around until you get over to the other side of your bracelet. And then come through your first crystal here, your first A color crystal. Then the three millimeter bead and the A crystal across from it. Then you will pick up an 11 of seed bead, an A color crystal, and an 11 of seed bead and you'll go from this crystal to this crystal and then through the little fire polish bead and then through the other crystal and pull it around. Make sure it's nice and tight and now we will sew down into the clear crystal here, this little corner crystal. And we will start our embellishments just like we did on the other side. So for this one, we have to pick up an 11 0 and a round duo and an 11 0. And then we will slide up through the crystal across from the crystal we're coming out of. And then we will pick up an 11 0 and a clear crystal or our color B and come through the top of the round duo here. Then we will pick up a clear crystal or our color B and an 11 0. Come down through the crystal on this side. Pull tight. Then we will sew up through this 11-0, through 
through the bottom hole of the brown duo, through this 11L, and up through the crystal. Here. And then into the next crystal. And of course here, you will sew through the 3mm into this crystal. You'll add 11L, a color A crystal, and 11L. Sew back through. Go into your next set of crystals. Do your embellishment there. And do the same all the way to the end on this side as we did on this side. And then, okay, so I have finished my entire side of embellishments. And I am coming out of this little micone crystal here right here after I put on my last little turquoise embellishment and sewed around now I'm just going to sew up into this crystal now you will notice too if you get your tension just right these little sections of round doodles will kind of raise a little bit um, they raised more on my last piece than they did on this one I think it's because I used bicones instead of the three millimeter um, fire polish bead. So if you use bicones, your little three millimeter bicones, these may raise a little bit and that's okay. That um, kind of gives a little dimension to it, a little bit of um, oomph to it. And it looks cute. Okay, so anyway, we're coming out here. Now I'm just going to sew back into my work and I'm going to tie a couple of knots and um, cut my thread off and put a little heat to it and then I will be done. So I'm just sewing through my work, following my my Brett thread path. And right here I'm going to grab a half hitch knot on the thread bridge. And then I'm going to sew through some more and grab a couple more knots. And once I have done that and cut my thread off, I will be back to show you the finished product. Okay. So I have gone ahead and sewn through and knotted and um, cut my thread off and seared it a little bit and this is what my finished piece looks like. It's really quite pretty. I really like the um, detail with the crystal here and the little quilted pattern. And in this one, this is what it looks like on. And you can see how it fits. And you can see how these ones are raised just a little bit. But either way, they look really pretty on. Let's see if I can put this one on. How's that for left-handed? Okay, let's back off here. That's what they look like on. And there's the clasping. And I think they're kind of pretty. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have fun. And remember, if you want some of these beads, to go to Potomac.com, PotomacBeads.com, and order yourself some. They're a lot of fun. You'll enjoy them. Bye-bye.